All right, what's up, guys, and welcome to my channel, 31261. Um, new people, you know, returning people, what's up? Um, as you guys know, a couple of days ago, or you, as you guys may not know, I released my first video, um, and that was my 2022 um, summer clothing haul video, part one. Um, as you guys already see, I got a bag in the back, so you guys already know what this is. And from the title, this is my 2022 summer clothing haul video, part two. Um, first one that we reviewed, um, we had, I think, three or four bags. Um, a lot of the stuff that I got was from Aeropostale. We reviewed a bunch of shirts, hoodies, hats, um, tank mesh, shorts, a tank top, um, you know, a bunch of, you know, really good stuff. If you guys haven't already watched it, we recommend you guys to watch it because it was a really good video. Um, bunch of content inside of that, a lot of clothes. Um, links, you know, right down in the description. Uh, for that video. I also will link um, that video so you guys can find it or you guys could just click my channel and go to the video because it was a video that came out before this. Um, but yeah, it was a really good video and we're on part two right now. So we got part two right here in the back. It's pretty much um, what we got for today's video. Um, as you guys can see, it says American Eagle. None of this stuff is from American Eagle, although I wish I had a little bit more, you know, money, wiggle room. So I've been able to get stuff at American Eagle, but didn't. Um, all the stuff I have here is from Primark. Um, what happened is they gave me, you know, the same bag that's just, you know, the Primark one that's brown. Um, and as I was walking um, towards Target, so my dad could pick me up, bring me home, all that. Um, the bag ended up ripping right in front of American Eagle. Um, fell on the floor and, you know, became all dusty and dirty just because the front of the store wasn't that clean. Um, but there was an employee who ended up seeing that the bag did end up ripping um, and she ended up offering me another bag uh, She offered me a paper bag which wasn't too fond of just because the last paper bag that I had which was from Primark ended up ripping But um, it was enough, you know, to allow me to be able to get the target and for my dad to be able to pick me up and go home and all of that but um These bags I do not like um, at all. I know that they do it to be um, What does it say? Well, so it can be recyclable and so it can be reused and, you know, help the environment and all of that. But I really do hate these bags. They hand them out. You walk out of the store and then, like, not even a minute or two later, the bag ends up ripping. Um, in my part, the bag was, you know, pretty full. Um, you know, filled all the way to the top and there was a lot of weight. So I guess it's kind of my fault that it did end up ripping. But I um, still prefer, you know, the plastic bags. And I know I talk about Arrow a lot, kind of go back to them a lot. But the plastic bags that they give, at least if they give those, you can walk around for hours and that thing will not rip just because it's plastic. And even if it is um, heavy, the bag will just, you know, kind of still stretch a little bit, but won't rip like this does. Because I don't know if you guys can see, but these bags, it has, uh, don't want to take out all the stuff. I'll show you a little bit later on. But they have like these two paper things, which are, you know, touching the whatever this thing is, and that's the only thing that hold, that's holding it. looks like it might have been glued or something, but it sucks because it can work, you know, at any time. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that, you know. You want to get into the video? Uh, it's only one back to the video, should it be too long? So we're just going to hop into that. I think in this video, um, in this bag at least, we have, um, what, a jean, we have um, some shirts, we have shorts, hoodies, and I think some other stuff, but when we get in the video, we'll see all of that, but, you know, without further ado, don't want to make waste too much time, um, would appreciate it if you guys could right now like, um, comment, and subscribe, I really appreciate that, and it helps the channel, and without further ado, you know, let's just, uh, let's hop into part two, let's go. Before we get into the video, we're just going to do a quick little fit check, um, so looking at what I got on already, so you guys can see, we got all Adidas on for today. Um, starting at the top, we have the Adidas um, Retro 8-Bit T-shirt. Um, really nice shirt. I really like this pixelated logo, the colors that they use. And then it has like that gaming, arcadic um, feel through it. You know, the little characters that it has on here. And, um, you know, just the overall theme. A really nice shirt. I think I got this from Marshalls. Um, I wish that I could find online, but I can't. Um, unless I get a used one, but don't want to get that because they look in horrible condition. Um, but yeah. Um, and then as we move to the shorts, we got some Adidas shorts, uh, really nice shorts. We got a nice patch right here, it says Adidas, like that. Um, as we move down to the bottom, as far as socks, we got some Adidas socks right here. 
Um, I have a ton of these Adidas socks just like these. Um, then I have another one where um, it says Adidas, like a really big logo, and goes from like here all the way to here. It looks really nice. And then um, on the feet, as you guys can see, got some, if I can get it better, got some Adidas um, NMDs. Um, really nice shoes. Um, this is the only pair of Adidas NMDs that I have. As you guys can already see, this is my, you know, beat up pair. Just seeing like that hole right there and the other stuff. Um, these are kind of my beater shoes, so I don't really care, you know, if they get dirty and all of that. But I definitely need an upgrade. I actually ordered some new shoes, which should be coming in next week or the week after. Um, so I'm going to do a video of that for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I just head back to earlier, it's somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. Back to... Getting into the bag, first item that we have looks to be a Garfield shirt. So there you guys go. So looking at the shirt, we already have um, this nice tag right here, really big tag of um, Garfield's face right here. And then you flip it to the back, just says Garfield, licensed by Nickelodeon, price, yada, 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 you know, all that good stuff. Um, in the front, you got Garfield right there. And as you guys can already see, he is definitely in a mood, just like the shirt says, right down here in black um who knows maybe he's mad because of Odie. maybe he didn't get the last piece of lasagna you know it could be a bunch of things but who knows he's in the mood um and this shirt is in mustard yellow i'm gonna say yeah i'd say mustard yellow um and then as you flip it to the back it's uh just pretty blank but a really nice shirt um nickelodeon not really too much to say about this a nice graphic um, if you look on the inside just right there just says Garfield you know and black um, writing and you know all the other licensed stuff right there here's the Garfield shirt on person I like the yellow mustard of the shirt um, along with the big imprint of Garfield in the middle um, I can relate because when I was younger Garfield I used to watch a lot of that um, and a bunch of other shows on Nickelodeon so as soon as I saw this in store had to pick this up um, whether it was waiting for the bus or after school, um, Garfield is something that I always watch, so love this shirt. Very nice shirt and a very nice tee. Um, sizing, this is a size medium. And as far as prices go, I got this for $7, so not too bad. Um, I did buy this at Primark. I cannot find this online, so if you guys do want this shirt, I would suggest you guys to check out your local Primark, and you guys might be able to find it there. Next item is going to be a shirt, and this is actually going to be the last shirt that we have in here. I only got two shirts from Primark, so yippee. Um, so yeah, so we got a New York shirt um, right here. Um, a really nice shirt. It is in a all black, as you guys can see. At the front of the shirt, this is a really well-designed and nice shirt. Um, and you have a couple of colors, you know, thrown into it on this um, all black shirt, which looks really nice. Um, starting right here, you have this nice paintbrush font, um, which reads New York. Um, and then below that, it reads 212. And for some of you guys who are not familiar with that number, um, 212 is actually the area code for New York, uh, Manhattan, I think a couple of other downtown areas. Um, then you have the Statue of Liberty in like a yellow lime green color. Then you have like this uh, melting stain thing, whatever that is. Um, then right here, um, it's a really cool font, it's this Downtown 1981. Um, I really like this font, especially like what they did with the O and the other stuff and whatever the swirl thing is. Um, and then there's some other places advertising the shirt like Save On Collect Calls, TCV Telplex, Coin 25 um, Cents Local Calls, uh, none of the places which I know. Um, and then in small writing, it reads BTM Broadway Line, the BTM Canarize Line, and the IRT Lexington Avenue line. Uh, none of those places I know, but who knows, you know, maybe if I visit New York, maybe I'll uh, be able to visit those places and hop on uh, those lines. The back of the shirt, no design. I do like this shirt being all black, and that being mm -hmm. said, you can pretty much wear this with anything. Um, and then also how on this black shirt, they toss in colors of the, the white, the purple, um, the lime green and yellow. 
Um, so the shirt really comes um, all together, you know, in the end, and it's a really nice shirt. Definitely recommend it. Another nice shirt. This is in a size medium, as you guys can already see from here and the tag. And the price is actually right there too, $4. Okay, so we're now done with the shirts section of the video. Um, the next item that we have is going to be some all gray jeans. Um, now when I go shopping, I don't really tend to buy jeans that much. Um, usually I'm out there, you know, buying shirts, uh, shorts, sweatpants, hoodies, you know, that type of stuff. If I do get jeans, I usually order it off of Amazon. Um, as you guys know, if you guys watched the last video, Quasel Vorlon is the main place where I go to get my jeans. Um, definitely recommend you guys to go check them out. They make some really good quality jeans. Um, me, myself, I have the washed in blue um, and I have the black. Um, I'm looking to get the white because um, right now I already have the gray right here. So white's going to pretty much complete the collection. And then after that, you know, I might get some jeans that might have, uh, you know, designs and embroidered patches, you know, all that good stuff. But um, this, I saw at Primark and just had to get it just because it was gray. Um, and I was looking at it. I was imagining all, the, you know, outfits that I could get with it. Um, but anyway, looking at this, it's a really nice jean, a uh, really nice, you know, neutral, cool gray color. I think this is a wash of denim, just looking at it. Um, but yeah, when you look at the front, you have that little uh, buckle thing, if you guys can see. Right there, it says um, denim and co. Um, and then as you guys look inside, here's the size. So this is a 28 by 30. Um, I know, pretty skinny, uh, but that's most of um, the size that I get for my jeans. It's usually going to be a 28, 29, or 30, um, but yeah, usually I get those size jeans, but this is a really nice jean and um, a really nice grade. Now, I do like this jean, but one thing that I will say about it is that it is a little bit tight. Um, usually I get, you know, a size 28 to 30, 29 to 30, 30 to 30, but with this one, I felt like it was just a lot tighter than the other jeans that I got. Um, I guess because I thought that it was going to be like the same sizing as my Quasel Vorlon jeans. But regardless of that, the jean is still a great jean. Um, I thought of returning it, but I'm not going to return it just because there's always long lines at Primark. And, you know, I'm not trying to do all of that. So I'm going to keep the jean. I still like it. Probably in the future, I'll get a different pair of gray jeans. But I definitely would recommend you guys, if you are, you know, a similar size to me, maybe get like a 30-30. Very nice jean overall, other than being a little bit tight. Um, but I did get it for a good price, $16, so, you know, can't really complain there. And then sizing right there, 28.30. Remember, if you guys do get this, probably would suggest you guys to get a 30.30. Alright, so it looks like we have our first shorts. Here we go. Boom, so we got... These nice shorts in a nice uh, mustard yellow, kind of similar to the Garfield shirt that I showed earlier. Um, already touching it, it is uh, really comfortable and soft to the touch. Um, really lightweight material, uh, but definitely, you know, will still keep you warm and insulated. Um, as you guys see, it does have a drawstring, so you guys do have some, you know, um, stretch to work with since it does have like the adjustable drawstring along with the elastic waist. So good to always have that. Um, and then right here, we have the aglets right here. The last video, I could not figure out what this was. I just kept calling it circle things. And I told you guys that I would figure out what the name of it was. And I figured it out. They are called aglets. A-G-L-E-T-S. Yeah. So we got two of the aglets right here. Gotta remember that. Um, and then right here, you have these rope laces in the mustard yellow and then you have these really nice uh, metallic tips which i think you're able to um take off if you just you know pick it off that's if you guys want to but it's a nice uh it's a nice thing you know it protects the uh tips um then as we move out you're back to that yellow mustard in the front um as you guys see in the back you guys do have a um, back pocket so you guys can put whatever you know you want in there and it is deep enough to fit a wallet phone all the other stuff not that you would put that there um, but you know whatever you really want um, and then as we look inside um, you have that nice cottony material
a very nice, well-designed short. Um, great for the summer or for whatever usage that you will put it to. Um, it's really comfortable. Again, you have that elastic weight that adjusts and I actually did use that earlier in order to adjust it to my waist. Um, but this is a really comfortable short. You also have that back pocket and you have those pockets. The pockets I do find to be um, pretty deep. So you guys don't have to worry about your phone falling out and all of that. But it's a very nice short in general. Really nice short, um, especially, you know, for such a great price. Um, this is in a size medium and this was $6. Okay. We just showcased the short, but this was a matching set. So you got the short and you also got the hoodie in the mustard yellow. So here's the hoodie right here. Um, has a little bit of weight to it. It's always nice, especially with, you know, winter coming, you at least want a hoodie that has a little bit of um, weight. Um, shows that it will, you know, will insulate you nicely and, you know, keep you warm. But yeah, so we got the mustard yellow hoodie right here. Um, you got the hoodie right here, um, down to the drawstrings. You have your aglets right here, the rope laces in the mustard yellow. Um, you still have those metallic tips, which is located on either side, as you guys can see. Very nice. Love the um, chrome tips. Um, as you zoom out, back to the hoodie, um, you know, you're back to the yellow. It's a pretty basic hoodie. you got your pockets right here, um, that type of stuff. As you look at the hoodie, the hoodie itself, um, the top of it does have a little bit of weight to it. It's a nice material, as you guys can see. Um, as you flip into the inside, you do have that... Um, cotton material, I wouldn't say polyester, but you definitely have a cotton material. And then as you move inside, um, you have a mix of like cotton and polyester on the inside. Overall, a really nice hoodie. And, um, you know, I definitely like solid color hoodies. So this is something that I definitely get to get. Um, and as you flip to the back, uh, you just have the solid color of the mustard yellow. The hoodie looks really nice in that yellow mustard. Um, I feel like that's really growing on me. I was hesitant when I was there because they did have a yellow mustard shirt that matched perfectly with the shorts and the hoodie. And at that point I was like, you know what? I already have the shorts, I already have the hoodie. Why not get the shirt? But I didn't get it. Wish that I did get it, but I don't know. Maybe next time when I go to the mall, I might go and pick it up. But other than that, this is a really good hoodie. Um, keeps you warm. I'm wearing it right now and I'm definitely, you know, comfy, sun as a bug, whatever. Um, Especially where the hoodie is. I have the hoodie on right now and my head is really warm, really well insulated. So definitely something that I'll use um, throughout the winter. And I definitely need to get a bunch more of these. But I would totally recommend this. And especially for the price, you can't lose. Now I know you guys want to see the whole matching set. So let's switch to that right now. Matching set right there looks really good. Again, I cannot get over the mustard yellow that the hoodie and the short has and how well they go together. Imagine me like matching up with this with some shoes and like some other stuff. You know, you got your old fit right there. But I cannot express really enough how comfortable this is from the hoodie to the shorts. Um, they did a really good job with that. And um, it looks good too. I was also able to adjust um, the drawstring to fit me. Um, so that's also something really nice too. But this isn't, I mean, half bad, and especially for the price, like I said earlier, really good. Would definitely recommend you guys go pick it up. Very nice hoodie, like I said earlier. Comfortable, soft to the touch. Um, but anyway, guys, this is in a size medium, and I paid, if I can get the tag, $10 for this. And at Primark, they have tons and tons of hoodies just like this, so you guys will not have a problem um, finding this hoodie or any other colors that you guys may want. We have another short in the same style of mustard that I showed you guys earlier, except it's in a different color. So right here we have these shorts. Um, these are all gray shorts. Um, like I said with the other one, really comfortable. Really lightweight, only weight is like right up here. You can have that adjustable elastic waist so it will fit into your size. Um, as you get here, got your two outlets right there. 
now you have these nice um, gray rope laces and you still have these really nice um, chrome tips which will protect the uh, tips of your laces zooming out you have that gray once again in the front um, and then moving to the back you again have that back pocket um, you can use that you know for anything that you want to use it for um, side pockets have those um, and then on the inside you have that nice um, cottony mesh material soft comfortable lightweight are just three words to describe this short but in all seriousness this is a really great short um, I like it just as much as I like the other short because they are comfortable. Um, they also are pretty laid back and have a comfy fit to them. So you pretty much can wear this whenever, wherever, um, and you can match it up with anything. I mean, gray is pretty easy to match it up with like anything and the mustard yellow, pretty easy to match it up with anything too. So another look at the short, uh, the short is in a size medium. And the price that I paid for this was $6. Now, as you guys would guess, this is part of a matching set. So we have the hoodie right here, all gray hoodie. Again, these are pretty solid color hoodies, you know, pretty simple hoodies, but they definitely, um, you know, deliver a lot of the things that you, you know, want in a hoodie, especially at a fraction of the price. Really good. Um, but yeah, you have your all gray hoodie. Moving from the hoodie, down to where you have the adjustable drawstring right here um, you have your silver chrome aglets you have um, the gray um, rope laces I don't know why that took me so long to figure that out um, then you have the chrome tips right here located on either side zooming out you know pretty basic hoodie all gray um, you have your pockets right here and then as you move to the back all gray um, I do like colors such as these whether it's like a um, black a gray a white because you know they're pretty much a neutral color so you pretty much you know can wear that with anything um, and match it up with anything you don't really have to put too much thought into it well that's not true maybe a little bit of thought but you know not as much thought as you would have to put with something that's like you know a different color than this but a very well designed nice hoodie Here's a look at the shirt on person. As you walk back, you have that nice gray. Um, again, gray is something that can pretty much go with anything, so you guys will not have a hard time finding something to match this up with. You can pretty much toss it on with anything. Um, again, if you guys want to tuck in the shirt, tuck in if you want. Don't tuck in the shirt if you don't want to. All preference here, you know what it is. Um, again, really comfortable shirt. Um, just like I said with the other um, hoodie and short that I had there so there's not really too much to say for this um, but I would recommend you guys to get this before it does sell out they have a bunch at Primark right now so it's just you guys to just go to your local Primark go there and you should find it there you can't tell me that transition was not nice oh my god that was beautiful Jesus anyway um, we got the whole matching set on um, again looks really good really comfortable um, and pretty much everything that I said about this, I said earlier with the other short and hoodie. So all I can really say right now is go and get it, guys, if you want. All gray hoodie in a size medium and with only ten dollars all right next item we have is another hoodie it's an all white hoodie uh, again guys be mindful if you get a all white hoodie um, it will get dirty a lot faster um, but all depends on you um, so right here we have the marvel hulk graphic hoodie um, it's a really nice hoodie. Um, already holding this, this does have um, a good amount of weight to it. Um, mainly from the hoodie, uh, looks like down here, and then on the sides right here too, where the arms are. 
Um, but anyway, getting into the hoodie. Got your all white hoodie. Um, got your hoodie right here. Then you have your drawstrings. So right here you have your aglets, silver aglets. Um, and then here you have these rope laces. It looks like it's a different type of um, rope lace. It's not like the cotton like material that the other ones have. It looks like it's like the those one of those premium, more expensive ones, which is really nice. Nice touch. It's different. Um, and then right here you have these really big um, caps, silver cone caps at the end. Um, really good. And then as you zoom out right here, um, you have your Marvel graphic right there. You got Hulk. Um, so you have a box. You have Hulk right here. Looks like he's getting mad, so you guys can see. Um, in black, it says Marvel right here. And then you have um, Hulk, which it says right here, which is really nice. Um, I really like the detail they put into this with, you know, him being angry, the whole design. You can actually feel the design too, and then you have like his spit flying out of his mouth. I don't know if you guys can see that, which I think thought was pretty cool. Um, as you move to the arms, on the left arm right here, it reads um, Hulk. If you guys can see that. On the left side. And then on the right side, it reads Marvel right here. So you got Marvel and then Hulk on the other side. Um, and then as you go to the back, you have this really nice big imprint that says Hulk. Um, really nice. Again, you can also feel that graphic that was printed on. Um, I really do like how they you know, put this on the back. It's really nice, especially on this white hoodie, using colors of black and all of that. Uh, but yeah, this is... Um, I haven't worn this, but this is definitely one of the better quality hoodies that I have out of everything else just because it has that weight. And during the winter, it definitely will keep you warmer just having that weight um, also being comfortable now that I'm touching that. Um, yeah, and you have that weight right here, like I already said. Inside, you have that cotton material, which is thick. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can actually like feel it. Like, it looks like there's maybe... What, what one sheet here, another sheet here, and then like maybe another sheet in the uh, middle of it for uh, extra cushioning and insulation and all of that. And then inside you have that white cottony material and that Marvel tag. You guys are looking for that. Um, but yeah, a really um, nice hoodie. Um, I guess that kind of makes sense because I did pay, this was like the most expensive item that I got at Primark. So uh, what you pay for is what you get, I guess, but a very nice, uh, nice hoodie. All white hoodie, Marvel, Hulk, can't get any better than that. Um, a really nice hoodie. Again, it is in all white, so if you guys do get white dirty a lot faster, don't get it. But other than that, this is a really nice design. I really like the graphic in the front, especially that um, big um, Hulk graphic that they just slapped onto the back. And then they put the Marvel on one arm and then the Hulk on the other arm. I thought that was pretty cool too. Um, one thing that I will say though when I did um, put the hoodie on which you guys will kind of notice a little bit is the hoodie is really small um, It is again thick and really comfortable and all of that But I think since they did put that they kind of took away from the size of the hoodie It's a good enough size for my head, but it is like a little bit small other than that. It's really good though Again, this is the Hulk Marvel graphic hoodie um, This is in a size medium And for the price, it was $22. So again, one of the more expensive items out of everything that's right here. So when you think about quality, the weight, all of that kind of makes sense. But a really well-designed hoodie. All right, next item we have is going to be a hoodie, similar to the gray hoodie that we showcased earlier, but this is a darker shade of gray. Um, and as you guys can see, this is a MTV hoodie. Um, Really nice graphic, um, but getting into where the hoodie is, down to where the drawstrings are, we still have those silver metallic aglets on either side. Um, you have your dark gray rope laces. You have your chrome tips, which are located at either end. As you zoom out, you have your graphic right smack dab in the middle, 
um, MTV. Um, and with this one, they did it um, a burger style one. So, you know, you got your bread, tomato, lettuce, cheese, uh, ketchup, you have the beef, you have some mayonnaise or sour cream, whatever um, that's supposed to be. And then um, you have the buns on the bottom. Um, and then this is in the shape of a M. Then they have like the T here and they have V, which is a really cool design. Um, and then in red right here, it says music television TM. Um, a very nice hoodie, so really nice graphic in the front, and as you move to the back, um, you just have that plain dark um, gray. Uh, Material-wise, though, this is um, very comfortable. Um, again, not as much weight as the other hoodie, but, you know, it's, you know, it, it has pretty much what your normal hoodie uh, would have um, with insulation and all of that, and it's something that, you know, you could definitely wear during the winter. Um, as you look here, you got the hoodie. On the inside, you have that dark gray cottony material, very soft. Um, and then as you look on the inside, you have um, that cottony polyester material. Another very nice and well-designed hoodie. Um, again, you have that hoodie in that nice dark um, gray. Um, like I said earlier, with your blacks, your whites, um, your grays, you can pretty much match it up with anything. So the fits that you can make with it isn't, you know, really endless. You can pretty much match it up with anything, so you guys don't have to worry about doing that. Um, but I mean, this hoodie, I really do like it, um, especially how they made that M into the burger. And then for the T and the V, they used, like, some mustard to kind of, like, outline that. So I thought that was a really cool design. Um, then you have that red music television, TM. Um, which again, I mean, looks really good. Plus, on a color like this and the way how they put the print, um, it's pretty subtle, you know, not too much. So it's a pretty simple hoodie. But other than that, you know, it's a really nice design, um, really comfortable, um, especially where the hoodie area is. And this is a size medium, like I said earlier, um, and it does fit true to size. And I definitely would recommend this, especially for the price. I think Primark still has it too, so go and get it if you want. MTV hoodie. A really well designed hoodie especially with that graphic that big graphic right on the front really nice and again that color you can pretty much match it up with anything um, this isn't a size medium as you guys can already see from here um, and I paid $16 for this so I mean looking at the color and assessing like the quality the design all of that $16 it's not that bad moving on to the last item it looks like we're gonna finish this off with a hoodie um, so this hoodie right here was part of um, one of my more recent pickups. Um, I actually got this three weeks um, after I uh, bought, you know, everything that I'm showing from last video that I showed and from this video. Um, I happened to be passing by Primark. They had a clearance rack in the front. Um, tons of hoodies all for $5. They had this color and then they had an alternative color where this was like all in a nice cream color. Um, I'm going to open it up for a sec. But it was in a nice cream color, and right here where this is black, um, it was in a nice blue. Uh, it looked really nice, wanted to get it. Um, and I was actually there a week before these actually moved the clearance. Um, and they had both colorways, tons of sizes. Um, but I didn't want to buy it because it was $24. And I just got, you know, my all my clothes, you know, from the mall. I think the total came out to that day because of what I got clothes and the gifts from my dad. Uh, came out to like $350, maybe close to $400. So at that point, you know, I wasn't really looking too forward to spending money on a hoodie, even though it was only $24, um, you know, still something. So I um, wanted to wait until it moved the clearance, and it did. Uh, I wish I could have got the cream colored one. They did have that on the rack, but they only had the size large and extra large. And, you know, knowing me, I'm a size medium. I don't fit those sizes. So I ended up getting this one. Um, wasn't my favorite hoodie, but again, it was five dollars and for something like this. This is I mean pretty good quality um, If you guys don't know what this hoodie is, this is a Stronghold hoodie it Says it right there if I'm holding correctly um, If you go inside a Primark, they have a bunch of um, these hoodies. Like I said, this was um, Five dollars uh, as you guys can see it used to be twenty four dollars, but they moved it to five dollars. So really good deal um especially you know for this hoodie um again not a hoodie that i like that much but i mean still pretty good so as we back out you have um you know a dark um gray ash colored hoodie um you know if we move to where the hoodie is 
There's a good amount of weight right here. Um, kind of reminds me of my Hulk hoodie right here. We have a little bit of weight right there. So definitely, you know, it's going to insulate your head well, keep you warm. Um, we move down to the drawstrings. These ones do not have the aglets. They just have, you know, these holes right here. Um, but you still have your rope laces, and then they have like this knot um, towards the end. Um, and then as you move out, sorry for the background noise. Um, but yeah, so you have your hoodie right here. Um, in black, it says LA, if you guys can see that. So right there it says LA, then it says the Stronghold. Um, again, if you go inside of Primark, they have a bunch of this. Um, maybe not right now, because I know over the summer they had a bunch. If you guys go check now, I don't think that, I, that they have that much. But a really nice hoodie. Um, flip it to the back. Pretty blank. Um, as far as this being a good hoodie, especially for the price, $5, I mean, pretty good. Oh, and one thing I actually forgot to mention is um, right here on the bottom oh, sorry about that so you got the hoodie right here but right here on the bottom left corner you have this really nice patch right here if you guys can see that it says um stronghold trademark los angeles 1985 um venice california so that's really nice um and it's in a nice uh blue you know color and the font is actually really cool never seen you know a font like that so it's a nice touch when they, uh, you know, add patches like that. Um, but again, like I was saying, a really nice hoodie. Um, has a good amount of weight to it, so it definitely will keep you warm. Um, again, you move into here, like I said, there's a lot of weight here. Um, you have that nice cotton material right here, like I said earlier. Uh, feels like there's about three or four layers right here, so your head's gonna be kept well, you know, insulated. And then as you move on the inside, um, I'm not really sure what this is. It's not like the other hoodies that I had. It's still like a cotton material, but you can kind of see through um, to the other fabric on the other side, but it's still um, comfortable. Um, again, this was $5, so to me, a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, a very nice hoodie. You guys can go try to go find it if you guys want. Um, again, I got this off of clearance, so there's no guarantee that you guys are going to be able to find this, but for $5, Nothing really too much to say about this hoodie. Um, it's a pretty basic hoodie, you know, dark gray. You got, um, you know, your little um, graphic, you know, on the side where it says LA. So, I mean, nothing, you know, too special. Um, but, I mean, this was $5, so it was, you know, a pretty good deal. Um, would I have bought it if it was $24? Uh, probably not just because I don't think that it was worth $24. But for $5, it was such a good deal that I just had to pick this up. Um, I do wish that I could have gotten this in the alternative colorway, but, you know, I'll suffice with this. Um, but, I mean, hey, for a $5 hoodie, you know, it's comfortable, does what it has to do. Um, you know, it doesn't look half bad. So, yeah. Um, but one thing that I do like about the hoodie is um, that patch. Um, really nice how they just toss it on the side. Um, I'm a sucker for patches on hoodies, so they did a really good job on the placement for this. One more look at the hoodie. Very nice, you know, simple colors, simple design, um, size medium, and you know, all for a great price. Five dollars? Come on. That's gonna wrap up part two of my 2022 summer clothing haul video. Um, we reviewed a lot of good stuff today. Um, again, it wasn't as much as what we reviewed in part one, but we still reviewed some pretty good stuff. Um, if we go over a quick little overview, we reviewed two shirts, uh, one jean. We reviewed two matching sets, one which was in the mustard yellow color. So not only did we get these shorts, but we also got the matching hoodie. And for the second one, um, this was in gray, but we got the shorts and also the matching hoodie for that. Um, after that, we had the MTV hoodie really like that. Um, that was followed by the Hulk Marvel graphic right here. I'm definitely going to get good wears out of that. Um, and then we had the Stronghold hoodie right here. So really nice stuff and, um, you know, a really good haul. Um, again, for all of these stuff here, I wish I could have found links for them, but I couldn't. Um, I spent, what, two or three hours trying to find links for these. Um, usually when you go on Primark, you just type in the little code displayed on the back. There's like a little skew. You type that in and you can easily find it. 
Um, but when I typed it in on Primark, it um, said no results. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, I really would have liked to leave links for you guys just so you guys could, you know, find this, but wasn't able to. So that kind of sucks. Um, also, for the fit that I wore today, I wasn't able to find any links for that just because these clothes are really old. Um, most of them I got from Marshalls um, or Macy's and the shoes I got as a gift. Um, and I was able to find some links, but they were from other sellers that, you know, I don't really trust. So not going to set you up with sellers that I don't trust. We still got part three on the way. We finished part one, part two. So part three, I hope to release in a couple of days from now. Um, so yeah, we have that video. Should be a lot shorter. Um, the bag is like so much smaller. I have it like right there. So you guys can see that. So that's going to be part three. Not too much. Um, but yeah, so that's going to pretty much wrap up the video. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, part three is going to be releasing soon. So if you guys haven't already, I uh, would appreciate it. You could um, like, um, subscribe, comment, um, all of that. You know, need to get my views up, need to get subscribers up, likes, all of that. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.